this tutorial is to show you how to edit content in the page content area. For this tutorial, I've made a quick test page by adding the title, the keyword description, keywords, fake keywords, um, an H1 tag. Um, and I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can see the page content area. This is simply an open source what you see is what you get editor and all you simply do is click in the editor box your cursor will go where your mouse click is and you can simply type or you can copy and paste from another document now I've preloaded a little bit of text here just for this tutorial so you can type it any way you want you can justify the text um, this is left justification. You can center it. You can justify it to the right. You can um, fully justify your text. Well, let's go back to left. There are other um, great tools like numbered bullet points. That's this guy right here. So I'm going to add some numbered bullet points by clicking the number and you see I get the number one there step one and when you click enter it's going to give you another bullet point number or you can use the dot bullet points and I'm going to do that here click enter and click on the dot bullet points and now I'm going to get a dot for my step one etc um, if you want your editing area to be a little bigger, you can go down here to the right and pull your editing area a little bit bigger. You can um, use, you know, the bold text. So here, highlight your words and click on bold, and that'll bold your text. You can highlight and click italics etc. Let's underline, etc. You have all of those normal editing tools. You can turn your text into a link. So for example, let's highlight the word link and I'm going to go up here to my link tool which looks like a little chain link. And then you'll be able to type in your link. Oops. So you saw I started with the HTTP protocol, but since it's already listed here, it just took it out naturally for me. And I'm going to click OK. However, you might want to change your target. So if, you're, um, if your link is drawing people away from your website, I usually encourage people to have it open in a new window so that your website is always there. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to click OK and now that link, the word link is now a link and you can see it by it being the normal blue text that signifies a link. You can, um, you can do all sorts of things up here. Change the color of your text um, or we can add an image. So I've just clicked down here. I'm going to add an image before the words or add images. And this little box is my image icon. And that will allow me to um, go up here to upload and upload an image from my computer. I'm going to choose that one. Send it to the server. And there's another tutorial for this as well, um, but you can see a preview of the image. Um, this image qu is quite big, it's 640 by 960. Um, there's a couple of different ways to resize the image. You can do that here with these numbers if you know approximately the size that you want. You can add a border, you can add age space, vertical space, horizontal space, vertical 
vertical space, etc. You can align it. I'm going to align it to the left and click OK. Now as you can see, um, this image is quite a large image and it is aligned to the left so my text wraps around it. So if I just kept typing you'll see that the image or the text just keeps wrapping around the image. You can click on the image supposed to click on the image to resize it I'll just go back in there and resize it we're gonna go and it does keep it um, because I have the lock button on here it keeps it proportional So there now I have a smaller image. I can change where the image is aligned. And again, if you want to change more things about the image, just go, you know, have big clicked on the image and go back to the image icon. And now we can add some vertical space our horizontal first and vertical and you can see that it gives us a little space between the image and the text and we have another tutorial video all about adding images so you can go check that out as well so basically that's all you do is you type into this content area use the word processing icons to format the text the way you'd like it I showed you some of the important icons like adding a link. Um, you can even turn your image into a link. I'm going to go back to image and see here where you click on link you can add a link to your image so again start with the HTTP. Um, you can also set the target to open up in a new window. Um, parent simply means it's another page on your website so you don't necessarily have to open up in a different window. It'll just take you there. Um, and click OK and now that image has become a link. So you can play around with your content, page content editing area to get your um, to get your content to look the way you want it. Now since this is just a test page, I have not published this page, um, we can save it and then view it. It still hasn't been published, but I can view it and see what it looks like. And you can see how your um, content shows up and again just format it the way you like it and you're good to go. So when you have it the way you like it you can simply publish your page um, and that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial.